Hey, my name is Evan, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the best free credit card to get in Canada, and it's the American Express Simply Blue credit card. And as you can see right here, I actually do have the American Express Blue card, but I'm trying to like hide out my number right there, but my name is on there. I've been a member of this card since 2016. And one of the reasons why it is the best free credit card in Canada and why I've been able to keep it for so long, I just want to go over a few things on why you should be getting this credit card if you do live in Canada and why you should get in the good books of American Express. And the number one reason why you should be getting this card is for... There we go. It's for free money. So you essentially, American Express will give you $150 if you guys sign up for this card or you apply for this card and you get accepted. Now, a way to redeem that $150 because while they do give you $150, you have to kind of be able to do the math and figure out how you can redeem that $150 because I think it's a welcome rate of 2.5% for uh, six months where it's up to $150. Uh, $150. So if you sign up for the card in the first three months, you get a welcome rate of 2.5% cash back. So 2.5% cash back as soon as you get the card. And that's for three months up to 150 up to $150. So if you do the math on that one, it's going to end up being roughly around, let me just get that, 100, no, actually $6,000 um, of spend to get the 150 cash back in three months. So you do have to be able to budget it a little bit in order to get that $150 cash back. Now, when I first got the card, it was actually a welcome rate of 5% for six months for up to a hundred and uh, for up to $250 when I first got the card. But American Express has kind of rolled back a little bit, but it's still an amazing card to get because it's literally just giving you free money just for signing up with the card and it's a free card. So why not? And the second reason why the American Express Simply Blue, Blue credit card, the free one, there's I think there's two different versions. There's one that's free, then one that's paid, and I think that you get a bit more cash back with that. I would recommend the free one if you just want to get started, um, especially if you are brand new to American Express. So if you're brand new to American Express, you want to be able to have this card just on your credit card portfolio. There's a bunch of myths uh, myths, I can't even speak properly. There's a bunch of myths in the past surrounding credit cards and that the more credit cards you get, the the lower your credit rating is. My credit rating is actually is an 825. I posted a previous video going over um, my own credit scores and uh, three ways on how you can improve your credit scores. Um, I'll put the um, link for that video in the description of this video so that you can check out um, so that just in case, um, just in case you don't get accepted for this card or anything like that, you can check out the video on ways to improve your credit score so that you can actually apply for this card and get it. Um, and it's really good if you're brand new to American Express, and that will build trust with American Express after you have this card because I do believe that American Express actually does give the best rewards. Um, which include the American um, American Express Rewards Gold Card as well as the Platinum Card, and there's a whole bunch of different uh, credit cards that American Express has that gives you a whole bunch of stuff back. So just getting the card on file on with American Express and um, just uh, even for three months, six months, if you want to apply for one of those higher tier cards, this is a great way to get your foot in the door with American Express. So if you're brand new to American Express or you've never had an American Express card before, go ahead and get this one as your first one because it's going, it's going to be probably the safest bet in order for you to grab those more premium cards later on, say a couple years down the road. But if you're a student as well, if you're a student, this is probably one of the best cards that you can probably get on the market now. And I think um, you also get a higher credit limit as well when you first get the card. Like I, I haven't really seen the figures over the last few years, but um, a friend of mine, she just applied for the card and she was able to get a $3,000 credit limit from $500 with her visa. So the difference between there is $2,500 between that visa for students 
then the American Express simply blew credit cards. So it, it, it all, and what that does is that it increases your credit score over time because your value of trust. And I talk a bit more about that on how to increase your credit score. And once again, that video is gonna be linked in the description. And the third reason why you wanna get the Simply Blue credit card um, is keep a long relationship with Amex. Is to keep a long relationship with Amex because this is a free card and the longer that you have a an account with a bank, the more that they're going to be willing to trust you in order to, I don't know, if you want to uh, pay off some interest, if you want to get a loan, if you want to get all of this sort of bananas. Um, if you, the sooner that you apply for one of these free credit cards, my oldest credit card uh, is a 2011 uh, Mastercard that I applied for right when I turned right when I turned uh, 18. I think it's 18 or 19 for for Canada. Um, yeah, I was like 19 or something like that when I first applied for my uh, first credit card. And I still have that credit card open and it's a free card. It's free MasterCard. The reason why I keep that card open is that it allows MasterCard to know that I'm still with them and I have that lo kind of that loyalty a little bit, but it increases your credit score over the long run by just keeping an account open. So like you don't want to end up canceling all of your cards or canceling this card if you end up getting accepted and then you get the American Express Gold Rewards Core, uh, card, for example. And if you're interested in that, I actually have a video on that, which I'll leave in the description and as well as the comment section down below of this video as well. And yeah, you want to keep that long term relationship with any sort of uh, credit card service or credit card provider or a bank service, because that will just end up building up trust in the long run. And um, for for Amex, uh, I talked a bit about the uh, entry level for students and the entry uh, credit entry credit limit for students versus the entry credit limit um, for Amex versus Visa. And when you only have five hundred dollars from Visa as a student card for your credit card limit, you're going to end up probably spending up to that tier of five hundred dollars. While with American Express you'll have, I believe it's $3,000 uh, credit limit as soon as you get this Simply Blue credit card. And it's not that you're going to spend up to $3,000. You may only spend $450 a month, say for example. So if you spend $450 with your visa when it's only a $500 limit, that means there's a $50 gap of credit that you didn't use. And that means that visa will keep a note on you because th they're gonna think that the more that your credit limit goes up, the uh, more that you're gonna spend to that cap, if that kind of makes sense. So if uh, say you're spending 450 of the $500, say say Visa's like, okay, we'll give you a thousand dollar credit limit. They're gonna think on their own algorithms and their own computers are gonna think that you're gonna spend 900 to a thousand of a thousand of that credit limit. While if you get the American Express Simply Blue card and you still only spend $450, like I don't advocate getting into credit card debt. I've never had to pay any interest for credit cards in all my life. I have about seven credit cards right now and I've never paid a nickel of interest since there's no pennies in Canada. So never paid a nickel in interest uh, for any sort of my credit cards. And I don't advocate for credit card debt. It's a terrible way to, um, it's a terrible way to kind of live your life. So. Um, if you're still, if you're only still spending that $450 when you have a $3,000 credit limit, Amex is going to take into account that you didn't spend, uh, if I get my math right, $2,450. So $2,400, no, uh, $2,550. <laughs> I almost got my math wrong there. Uh, $2,550 that you didn't spend. So that means that you've saved up that amount of money for your credit limit. That means Amex in the back of their minds, like, hey, we can up your credit card limit. You always want to up up your credit card limit because then it's going to show that you're more trustworthy, um, trustworthy because you're not spending to that limit of the credit card, if that all makes sense to you. And if you've uh, uh, looked up for, or if you follow me along with this video uh, and you've got some valuable information for what kind of credit card that you want to get, I very much appreciate if you uh, would use my referral link down in the description and the comment box down below. If you want to get this free card, I would very much appreciate it if you use my um, referral link for that one. Uh, just remember that this is a free card. You don't have to pay anything, but it 
it's so beneficial because you do get that $150, up to $150 cash back in those first three months if you budget correctly. So say you have a car insurance that you have to pay or you have another big expense, a home expense, uh, you can just put it on your Amex card and then you'll not be able to get worried um, and spend up to that $6,000 so that you can get that $150 cash back because it's all about planning and strategizing um, with credit cards so that you can get all those benefits coming back to you. And once again, once again, uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you do uh, use that referral link down in the description and in the comment section below. And if you're interested in more credit cards, I have uh, I talk a bit more about more credit cards. I also um, do a lot more traveling videos, digital nomad videos. So if you want to subscribe to me, that would be absolutely amazing. You can comment below saying subscribe, and I will and I will reply back with a super nice comment. Or if you want a mean comment, say subscribe. I want a mean comment. <laughs> Once again, my name is Evan. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video, and I hope that you enjoy your new Simply Blue credit card from American Express.